Right, welcome Mr. Simons here. Now we're coming to the threaded simultaneous equation. Now you'll think it's difficult, it's actually very easy. But you need to know the process, it's going to be tested in a lot of other subjects, right? Like in physics, simultaneous equation with forces, etc. Right? So as usual, I'm starting with the easier one where equation 1 is created already for you, right? If you look at November 2016, it says solve for x and y. So whenever we say x and y, we're generally dealing with a simultaneous equation. So two equations must be given. First one I have, x equal 2y. Second one, x squared minus 5xy equal negative 24. So there I already know that x is 2y, so that I call equation 1. This I call equation 2. So now wherever I see x, I'm going to substitute in 2y. Right, so the objective you see there, I have two unknown variables. I only want one unknown variable. So I have x equal 2y given. So x squared now becomes 2y squared, you see there. Minus 5xy becomes minus 5 times 2y in the place of x times y equal negative 24. Alright, so 2 times 2, 4. y times y, y squared. Negative 5 times 2 gives me negative 10. Y times Y gives me Y squared equal negative 24. 4Y squared minus 10Y squared gives me minus 6Y squared equal negative 24. And we always divide by whatever is front of Y. So negative 24 divided by negative 6 gives me 4. Take note, if you have a negative value there, I can't find the square root of a negative value, right? So then you should know you've made an error. Right, square root of 4, remember it's plus or minus, square root on both sides, square root y squared, y. Square root plus minus 4 would give me negative 4 or positive 2. Now I have to substitute this back in. 2 times negative 2 gives me negative 4. 2 times 2 gives me positive 4. Right, so they have solved simultaneously. I got the value of y and x. Right, so mark allocation, as I say, very important. Always one mark for substitution, so they are substituting uh, equation 1 into equation 2. One mark for simplifying or getting in standard form. In this case, it was just minus 6y squared. Then getting both y values, getting both x values, only 4 marks. So this one is only 4 marks, because straightforward equation was given to you. And hope you follow. All the best. Continue practicing. Bye.